Living Life. Of mm-hmm. course, we'll have more on his passing coming up on later editions of H&N. But now let's get to some even more breaking news. Yeah, Kilauea has started erupting again after near month-long pause in activity. Yeah, new at noon, I can tell you HVO has lowered the volcano alert level from warning to watch. That's because it is not expected to escape that crater and that initial infusion rate has been declining. So let's head over to the national parks. That's where our Casey Lund is with the very latest. Jonathan, I, I know, first of all, uh, how jealous you are of being here, <laughs> because I know that you did such amazing coverage for Mount Aloha. And uh, I'll get to just uh, the update that I got from HBO in just a moment. But, uh, you know, so many people that we talked to came here to hopefully see Mount Aloha on their vacation, and, and they're really happy that they got to see this. I'm going to talk to one of those folks in just a moment. But HBO, I just spoke to a scientist a, a little earlier this morning, and she said right now they're doing everything they can to kind of monitor the situation, take measurements, take pictures, so they get an accurate 3D map of what's going on, but they continue to stress, as you've been reporting on Sunrise and uh, throughout the day, that there's no imminent threat to the communities in the lower East Rift Zone, and this appears uh, from all their monitoring instruments that it is going to stay in the caldera here at the summit of Kilauea. So I want to bring on uh, Marvin Lambie with me from Nebraska. Look at his family back there and his friends uh, staying in Kona, right, Marvin? Yeah, staying in Kona, and then we have some friends that we've been meeting along the trail from Michigan, Michigan (laughs) State. We're Cornhuskers, and they're Spartans. Oh, I love it. And Marvin, this is something you guys don't get in Michigan or Nebraska. No, definitely not. You know, we were up here yesterday. It was nice and calm. We had a little rumble thinking maybe we're going to get lucky. We headed back to Kona. Look in the river mirror. We see this big billow of smoke. That nah, can't be. Get back to the hotel. The news is on. <laughs> hey, we got to get up tomorrow morning early and come back here and see this thing. And you said you even felt a rumble when you were here. We did. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. The National Park Service said, oh, maybe, maybe not. Exactly. Said, yeah, we don't really have any sign seismic activity yet on it so we don't really know you know the, we get these little things yeah. goes guts and go so that you know what are the chances you say I mean, it's the highlight of your vacation so far y- indeed it is so far <laughs> yeah good. exactly Marvin, thank you for you sharing bet. with us i'm glad yeah. you guys are having a good time jonathan so uh, that's what we're hearing from so many people you know uh locals and visitors alike that are coming up here to see for what it, it, many of us experience is a once in a lifetime uh, event and so uh so grateful to be able to share that with you uh but i know as i mentioned you got to come out to mauna loa and you got to uh, cover that as well uh, you know how special it is to be here Absolutely. I know how special it is to be there. And I went to right where you are in early December. Yeah. And the day I got there was the day the eruption quit. I so know. I know. You, so I didn't get to you see. You killed it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask for anyone who is going to see. It is sort of uh, those fissures and fountains. They're really impressive from the overlooks. And where exactly in the crater oh. are you seeing those fountains compared to past eruptions you visited there? So actually, Jonathan, I did just speak with the uh, scientist here from HVO. She said that this eruption is in basically the same spot as that September 2020 run eruption. So for folks who want to come, there there is plenty of room. You know, the park's getting a little busy, but it's not getting crazy. So come up all the way down Crater Rim Road. You can stop at the steam vents down there a little ways. We're just uh, next to Jagger Museum. This is a really popular spot where you can get pretty close. But the secret viewing spot, it's no secret. It's over at Devastation Trail, and you'll walk down about a mile in it's Kayana Kakoi. Uh, it's a really, really awesome viewing place where you can kind of get a little lower, closer to the lava, and you can see it a little bit better. But really, no matter where you're at, I've even talked to some friends that were staying up at the Volcano House. They said they were eating dinner there. They were able to see it from there. And again, even flying in from Honolulu, you can see the glow, uh, especially with some of the fog and the steam coming up. Um, it's a really special thing. And today was even cooler, Jonathan, because I had the full moon setting behind Mauna Loa. You can see the sun hitting the snow caps on Mount Akea and then the sun rising here and uh, obviously just this really spectacular scene uh, here at Kilauea. All right, Casey Lund doing a great job of gathering all sorts of interviews there on assignment. I want to play out even more of the reaction he's gathered so far today. Thanks so much, Casey. Well, I've lived here for five years now. So I was here for the um, 2018 eruption, Fissure 8 and Leilani Estates. So this is this is pretty normal for us, but it's always fun and love to see people enjoying it, especially when it's um, when it's safe and there's nobody's homes in danger. It's just a real nice 
um, miracle of nature. It's incredible. Just to, to see that molten rock, it's incredible. We're at uh, Mount Kia. Yeah. When we heard that it was uh, actively erupting, so we made a drive and here we are. How do you like it so far? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we are getting some just incredible incredible images coming into our newsroom let me show you this usgs volcanoes twitter account just posted this it's of sunrise uh, from about 6 38 this morning now compare that to this that's the overnight shot you can see that just gorgeous glow in the nearly full moon in the background there all right so here's what i can tell you as far as the numbers go lava is covering about 30 acres at depths of about 30 feet there in the caldera and those fountains got up to about 100 feet plus when they were at their highest burst but they're more constantly shooting up at about 30 feet so here's what geologist philip ong had to say this morning when he gave us an update the first phase of the, every, every eruption seems to be the most productive as far as lava, as far as gas, and it's really put out that massive first volume for the crater, a huge amount. And we're waiting to see how long that first phase is going to last. The eruption started in the same place that the September 2021 eruption started, in the middle of the lake, with a, a fissure. And quite soon, a lot of the eastern part of the crater floor was covered with new lava. And by nightfall, the whole crater floor was covered in lava. And this is just incredible video here from the first hour of the eruption taken from the overlook at the crater rim. You can see that sizable bright orange lava fountain and that fast moving flow filling the caldera. I think you can even sort of hear it here. Wow. I could watch this all day, guys. And if you want to get more lava images and you want to get your fix, just head to your H&N digital platforms. We have a photo gallery there and you can see all sorts of amazing photos and videos.